Hey y'all, welcome to Faithfully Bound. In this video, I want to make a prayer notebook with you. I had this old planner just sitting around. I used to use it when I worked, but now I don't. And it's just sitting here. It has no use at all whatsoever. So I decided to clean it up and turn it into a scripture journal. It has slots in the back for business cards, but I'm gonna use those for prayer cards. And it has this guide right here that I can use to make my new pages with. And it has the hole punches for me. So I'm gonna take these pages out and I am going to turn this into something new. This is going to be my scripture journal. I can pray scripture by using this journal. I am going to print the pages and make sections. And then I am going to print out scripture and put it in this notebook. And then I can pray the scripture one by one as I go through the notebook for the specific themes that I have chosen. I used a program called Canva. If you haven't ever used it, I suggest checking it out. It has tons of free stuff so you don't have to pay for a subscription. But here is a fun fact, and I don't know if you know this, but if you have a homeschool, you can use Canva for free. So you can get the educational pack and you don't have to pay the monthly fee. So it comes in handy for doing projects with your children, teaching them how to make posters and banners and projects and all of the things. So I used that program to design the cover and each section of this notebook. I started out with a different method than I finished with. So what I started with was covering each of the sections with the paper. I glued it on there and just kind of wrapped it around and then I punched the holes. I found that this was not the most efficient method so when I was moving forward, I did it a little bit differently. It can go either way, and then I can just use the printer paper on this like cardboard type paper, and it's thicker and it holds up better. But you can see those lines through it. So I wasn't too pleased with this and I did change my method. When I designed this in Canva, I made sure to make my canvas in Canva the exact measurements of the pages that I took out of this notebook so that the pages would fit back in exactly the right way. So I just cut them out and then punched holes in them and put them in the notebook. I did not finish every section in this sitting, but the first verses that I picked were for praises to the Lord. So all of the scripture that I picked for that section are praises to the Lord. So I'm going to pray the scripture while praising the Lord and reading the scripture to praise the Lord. This is when I decided to switch it up. Instead of using the pages that were already in this notebook, I got out my paper. This is like that cardstock type scrapbook paper. I don't know exactly what you call it, but I used this and the back is white. So I glued the sheets that I printed onto the back of this and then cut them out. So the front is what I printed for each section. These are my section dividers. And then the back is pretty flowered paper. And this worked out way better. To get it to fit on the papers that came in here, I had to cover the tab part that sticks out and I thought that was a bother. So I'm just doing it this way and then I'm going to attach washi tape to each of the divider sheets so that I can just pull the washi tape and find the section I'm looking for. I really enjoyed making this notebook. I can pick the sections that I want, the themes that I want, pull the scripture and then print it and put it in here so that I can pray each scripture in a row. I am not flipping through the Bible, which there's nothing wrong with that. I thoroughly enjoy that. So don't get me wrong. This I can just take with me 
and it's quicker. I can stick this in my purse. I can bring it wherever I go. I can take it with me around the house and it's just there. My Bibles are kind of big and thick and I keep certain ones in each room. So if I want to do these specific prayers, I just pull out this notebook. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so that we can help each other grow in our faith and our walk with God. Bye y'all.